video I'm about to show you very well might get felony charges put on me. So before we begin, let me explain to you that the slob you are about to witness got out of his car to choke me, say, do you know who the fuck I am, get knocked out, pull his pistol on me, I disarm him of it, beat him with it, knock the rounds out and run away, he sneaks up behind me with two hunting knives while I'm explaining to everyone watching what's going on and stabs me. All on video. Now, he was never charged for any of it while I was hit with a felony if I were to testify against him. Again, this is the second time in two years that Glenn Kessler has done this and District Attorney Brian Sinnott illegally twice gave him ARD as a second time violent firearms offender, wiping this from his record. So without further ado, here's Glenn Kessler in the grocery store buying items to donate to the food bank to write off hours for his community service for his three attempted murders and successful stabbing of a wounded warrior. That's crazy. So who do you know around here, man? Who are you tied into? Uh, nobody really. Really? Really? So how'd you get off for stabbing me? Well, uh, I'm not off. I actually yeah, yeah. Oh, you got off with murder pulling your pistol on me. Well, I'm sorry. So you're, you're an EMT? So are you a Freemason? How'd no. you get away with stabbing me? Um, I did. I'm actually in trouble. No, you're not. Because you should be put in jail. You, should, you pulled your pistol on me. I beat you with it. Knocked the rounds out. Ran away. You chased me down on video and stabbed me. And you got away with it. You're not in jail right now. You should be rotting in jail in hell. And you're not. I, you know somebody you're tied into and this is coming out. You should be in jail. Think about this. You're a very smart man. No, no, no. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I know who you're tied into and I'm going to expose it. Isn't it odd that we're here together? Hey guys, can I have you take it outside though? Okay? This guy? Stab me. Do you see this? He's got a pistol on him right now. He's got a pistol on him and he stabbed me and he got away with it in Adams County. Uh, this guy's a terrorist. He did to a wounded warrior. You did this to a wounded warrior, you terrorist. Ma'am, for somehow he got off with stabbing me. That's crazy. I know, I'm sorry to pull an issue in here. But I'm a wounded warrior and this guy got away with stabbing me. So what you just saw is me bumping into my assailant in public and having to record him to protect myself. I had to get within arm's reach of him in case he pulled his pistol on me again. If he stone cold murders me, the police won't investigate or charge him with anything just like the last time he tried to kill me three times on video. District Attorney Brian Sinnott suppressed that video and I won't let that happen again. Now, videotaping in public can be considered a felony. However, I'm doing this in self-defense. Let's see if District Attorney Brian Sinnott charges me with a felony for this and if he offers me ARD for it, which he gave to the pervert cop Michael Caracato for illegally videotaping a female officer. If you want to see him cover up that debacle, watch my video here, State Sanctioned Pervert Cops and Repeat Firearms Offenders. Back to Glenn Kessler. He's already done this twice and the police have conspired to keep him legally armed in public. The third time's a charm, y'all. And I'm telling you right now, it ain't gonna be this guy with two thumbs. I'll wrestle that pistol away from him just like I did before. And then make sure he doesn't do it again. Wink, wink. I hope that this doesn't happen around you and your family. Let me stress that this situation has been created by your district attorney, Brian Sinnott, illegally giving ARD to a second time violent firearms offender, along with your local law enforcement conspiring to keep this guy armed around your family in public. So you gotta stop and think, all these cops and officials know about this and are doing nothing. As a second time violent firearms offender who chased me down and stabbed me, he illegally gets offered ARD by our district attorney, Brian Sinnott, then approved by a judge who spent his whole life tied into the town via his daddy's law firm, and supervised by a probation officer whom is a knowledgeable and skilled ambassador of the courts. All who know that giving ARD to a second time violent firearms offender is illegal and all know that Kessler has done this before. What the fuck? The entire state mechanism is complicit in covering this up. 
from the Estate Police Internal Affairs Division to the corrupt county commissioners who are in charge of the common courts to my state rep, Dan Mao. Because you'll see me get chased down and stabbed by a second time violent offender and our district attorney, Brian Sinnott, he got the guy off on ARD, which is illegal for a violent offender. So I'd really appreciate your help on this issue. What would you like me to do? To my state senator, Doug Mastriano. Me out with getting stabbed? The county broke the law. I need the state to come in. You gonna help me out with that? Why are you running away, man? I need your help. I need your help, buddy. The state needs to come in and correct the county breaking the law. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for your support. And the bitch ass cops at FBI Harrisburg office refusing to protect the public from crony cops and officials threatening public safety. So there you are, folks. The entire Pennsylvania system of government is set up to protect the interest of cronies over that of public safety. Nothing will happen unless this breaks in the news and these cops are forced to investigate these dirty officials. So share these videos. Put them up on your group's Facebook. Then call the FBI. Anybody can report a crime. Tell them that Adams County, Pennsylvania District Attorney Brian Sinnott is out of control and violating public safety. Ask them to investigate the pervert cop Michael Caracato. Ask them to investigate repeat firearms offender Glenn Kessler stabbing a wounded warrior. This is your chance to put a stop to this type of behavior by our public officials. If you don't do something about it now, it very well may happen to you and your family in the future.